corona type timeline on a project we're working on. Is she nice at least? Yeah, and she's smart like you. She can design, she can build, she can lead a team. Did you do my math list for me? Probably. As an engineer, she's pretty good at math. But so are you. You got this! You know, engineering isn't just fixing cars. It's creating things, finding solutions, making things better. Like changing the world? Exactly. Yeah, I can see myself doing that. Come on, let's get you to school. I'm Laura Grover. I'm an executive director and senior structural engineer with JL Richards and Associates. I'm Nadia Carrier and I'm a mechanical engineer with JL Richards. I'm Robin Whiteley and I'm a senior systems engineer at Lockheed Martin Canada. Christine Musa, systems engineer at Lockheed Martin Canada. Cynthia Kirkshank, I'm a professor at Carleton University in mechanical engineering. I'm Sarah Brown and I'm a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering at Carleton University. I'm Dion Barlise. I'm the Director of Measurement Engineering at MDS Aerosupport. I'm Rachel Cardone. I'm Manager of Purchasing and I work at MDS Aerosupport. When I was a kid, I kind of ran the gamut in terms of interests. And while well, some of my friends were going off to summer camp, where you just went and played all day. I was attending science camp at the nearby science center. You know, I took my brother's cars, his model cars, take them apart, put them back together so you wouldn't find out. Uh, <laughs> I was very independent. I was always curious. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? I was really almost like a little mini professor. My birthday invitations would look a lot like tests. <laughs> I always loved uh, Rube Goldberg machines as a kid. I really enjoyed playing with my Lego and building things from like wheel mills to uh, cars. I also really enjoyed my Barbie. I don't think I ever had any inkling of what engineering really was, even though my father was an engineer. It wasn't someone who came home and explained what he did. And nobody was an engineer in my family or that I knew, so I didn't understand what that was as a career at all. I didn't know what engineering was. Recollection of hearing what an engineer was was in high school when we were doing career planning. I knew of it, but I didn't know what it truly was until I was in high school. I knew my dad was an engineer and my sister was studying engineering but I had no concept of what that entailed. I was part of a solar powered car club in middle school. I didn't even really realize it was engineering at the time. What initially drove me to engineering was an experience with guidance counselor in high school when we were looking at what subjects we had an interest in and exploring career opportunities. I had gone to an IBM camp when I was in high school that uh, promoted engineering and, and physics and STEM. My love for science and math in high school. The math and science aspect of it, I was looking for a challenge and I, I thought this would be a good fit for my skill set. Girls are highly reliant on their parents to check in their efforts and over three quarters of girls really think of their parents as having the most influence on their career path. They asked me what classes do I enjoy taking in high school? And they're the ones that really helped me streamline that to engineering. Sometimes your parents need to give you a push in the right direction, but I think in the end I'm glad they did because it turned out really well. When I was in university, there were approximately 10% women. It equated to about 10%. Probably about a dozen. I would say we were about 20% women. But, you know, a little less than a 10% ratio. About 20 to 25%. Just three girls. The very last class, it was a review session, so the whole class decided to show up at that time. And I got there a bit late, so I had to go sit in the back. It was the first time I looked up and looked around, and I was the only girl in the tutorial. By a percentage, Engineers Canada quotes that mechanical engineering actually has the lowest female enrollment. As a professor, I really see the need for a culture shift more inclusion and diversity in class. In terms of challenges in being a woman in a male-dominated field, I have to say I think I'm quite fortunate that I've never faced a challenge on what I think is because I'm female. At school, not particularly. We really just worked as a team to get to the end goal, which was graduation. My first co-op placement, I was the only female in the department. It felt like I was breaking into kind of an all-boys club. It was really the women for me that went through the challenges. 
because they were they were going against the stereotype. I can definitely see that there's a struggle sometimes, and a lot of times just about educating people, get them to understand that you you should be taken seriously and that this is your job and you're just as competent as someone else. You're in a field where you're very underrepresented. As long as you stay true to yourself and stand up for yourself, then it's not an issue. The thing I like best about being an engineer and practicing in this field is seeing things come to life, essentially. It's the opportunities that it provides you. It's a very wide field with many different avenues for career advancement and development. Having the, the skills of an engineer really gives you a good solid foundation. Seeing my work in action and seeing real life things become a bit. I love understanding the, uh, the purpose of a project, how everything works together. I really get to visualize how things uh, work, how they are put together, why they exist, and then I can impart that knowledge to my students in class. It's about coming to a practical solution in the end and not necessarily a perfect one, but one that will get the job done. Creative problem solving, that's what engineering is all about. How to manage your time, how to prioritize, how to communicate, how to accept failure, knowing when to walk away. It teaches you how to work with people and also work on your own. But definitely teamwork, I think that's the biggest one. If you don't have fundamentals of math and science and enjoy it, you want to be good at it, it's, it's hard to get through the engineering program. But even after all that, if you're done your engineering program and you start your profession, you realize that the whole entire exercise was learning to learn. It's a symbol to remind all engineers that uh, the safety of the public comes first. For me, it was validation that like I had done it and there was proof now. I really achieved the goal that I was uh, I planned out for, which was graduating from the engineering program. And there's a background story to it as well. There was a bridge in Quebec that went down and then they realized, wow, what we're building affects the safety of the public. It's really a good symbol of um, being professional and being part of uh, an ethical engineering community. So it's definitely something that I'm proud to have on my finger. Engineering is all, already changes the world just by the aspect of what it does, right? It's taking everyday things that are around you and putting them together and making advances. You can't really look at anything without an engineering having touched it, really. If you think of the electricity that goes to your house, the transportation you're in, your pen, if you think of anything, everything needed someone to figure out how to make it. Engineering has already changed the world and will continue to change the world going forward because behind every great accomplishment there's a team that makes it happen. There's such a strive now to help reduce emissions and increase energy efficiency. I really think that engineering has provided us with all of our everyday comforts and it's the things that we take for granted every day like turning on the tap and getting clean water. If you think of something, you design it, and you build it, it can change the world. Keep exploring, keep discovering yourself, get involved in different types of activities and find out what you like. Be true to yourself and really uh, take every opportunity you have to learn from other people. You can do anything and you can be anything you want to be. Don't give up. There's no need to be afraid. The sky's the limit. Sometimes things, you know, are a bit harder to get there, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it. Becoming an engineer doesn't stop you from being a girl. I think there's this idea that you know math and physics and design those are are not feminine things or they're not cool things for you know young girls to be interested in. And I think the thing to tell them is no, it is cool. Accept the challenge that it offers and embrace it. If girls don't see females in STEM fields where women are underrepresented, how are they supposed to imagine themselves in those roles? I'd really love to live in a world where being an engineer, a female engineer, doesn't make you brave, it doesn't make you bold, but it makes you normal.